Space Warps provide a rich tool palette of options, from simple object animation to the creation of advanced animated effects. There are several categories of Space Warps available in 3ds Max, which include forces like gravity and wind, deflectors, and a vector field that are used for particle systems. Other types of Space Warps work on geometry. These are Space Warps that deform objects, such as wave and ripple, or are useful as external modifiers, such as bend and twist. Here you see the simple word explode. Scrub the timeline, and you'll see that the word simply moves across the screen. The goal for this lesson is to have the text bend 90 degrees up and explode once it reaches a certain frame. In the camera 001 viewport, select the Bend 001 Space Warp. Switch to the Modify tab. The Bend Space Warp works in a very similar way to its modifier cousin, the Bend Modifier. The difference is that the Space Warp can be located anywhere in space and will affect any object assigned or bound to it. Leave the gizmo parameters at their default. In the parameters rollout, change the angle to 90 degrees. Then, change the direction to 90 degrees. Pay attention to how the gizmo looks now as compared to before. In order to have the geometry work with the space warp, the object needs to be bound to the space warp. From the main toolbar, click Bind to Space Warp, the fifth button in from the left that looks like three squiggly lines with a chain beneath them. Click and drag from the text to the space warp, and you'll see a rubber band line connecting the two. Let go of the mouse button, and you will see the text wrap around in a circle in the direction of the bend. In order to fix this, and have the text only bend 90 degrees up, you will need to limit the range of the space warp. Click to select the Bend Space Warp. Make sure the Modify panel is active. In the Parameters Rollout, Limits group, check the Limit Effect option. Change the lower limit value to negative 8 feet. Scrub the timeline again. Now the text bends 90 degrees through the Space Warp and comes to a stop at about frame 120. The next step is to make the text explode. Go to frame 0. Click Bind to Space Warp if it is not already active. Click and drag the text to bind it to the Mesh Bomb 001 Space Warp. This is the small diamond shaped object located above the Bend Space Warp. Press Q on the keyboard to enter the Select Object mode. Scrub the timeline again and pay attention to what happens to the text, not only as it goes through time, but also as it is animated in space. It just sort of falls apart, doesn't explode. Select the Mesh Bomb 001 Space Warp, and make sure the Modify panel is open. This issue is caused by both timing and gravity. In the Bomb Parameters rollout, change the detonation value to 120. This changes the timing of the explosion. To make the text explode out uniformly and not just drop straight down in space, change the gravity value to 0.2. This causes the shards of the text to be affected less by the gravity associated with the space warp. To make it into larger pieces, you can change the fragment size. In the fragment size group, keep the minimum value at 1. This means that the smallest element in the explosion will be one polygon. Change the max value to 5. Play the animation from the beginning and watch as the text moves through the space warp, bending up 90 degrees and exploding at frame 120. Space warps provide an enormous amount of flexibility, allowing you to be as creative as you can imagine.